Police in Royce City say a woman who had been a nuisance at a nursing home in the past bought a rifle to the facility this morning and opened fire. They say the shots the 55-year-old Sarah Carter fired did not hit anyone and that she did eventually surrender. Fox Force Amelia Jones joins us with details, including a possible motive. Amelia. Right, Clarice. Police say the suspected shooter was there looking for her ex, who is currently a patient at that nursing home. Back in March, police say the woman was arrested for criminal trespassing at the same facility where police say she opened fire today. Roy City Police say around 9:15 Friday morning they received a call for an active shooter at the Roy City Medical Lodge. They say 55-year-old Sarah Carter fired at least two rounds with a rifle into the wall and ceiling. She came in. She was uh, yelling his name, yelling profanities at the staff as she entered the room, or she entered the the building holding it, the, the rifle. Roy City Police Chief Kirk Aldridge says Carter was looking for her ex who was a patient at the rehab and nursing home facility. Police say she confronted four employees, then took off down a hallway where her ex used to stay. Officers arrived at the location and were directed down a hallway of the facility um, where the patients live. Uh, the officers went in, started clearing the rooms. One of the patients told officers Carter was barricaded in a room. Police say she pushed furniture up against the door. The officers forced the door open and could see the suspect, a female suspect inside. Um, she was inside with another patient, actually two patients. There was a female standing beside her and then there was a male subject in his bed. Police say Carter pointed the gun at the female patient and forced her into the room. When officers got inside, Carter was not armed. She put down the rifle. She was taken into custody. No one was injured. This could have been a bad situation. Carter does have a criminal history related to the nursing home and outside it. Police say they've received eight calls involving Carter and the medical lodge. And in March, records show she was arrested for criminal trespassing there. But police say these previous charges did not involve violence. Although records show she does have a felony arrest for assault on a public servant and some misdemeanor cases for drugs, theft and resisting arrest in her background. So right now she's facing five counts for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And we're still investigating to see if there's any more charges to be filed. Aldridge commended his officers who were able to find Carter and arrest her within six minutes. Like I said, the rooms are full in that facility. Uh, it could have been extremely bad. We, you know, we had the report of the one down. We were lucky that when we got there, that wasn't the case. Um, so we're just, we're blessed that you know, nobody lost their lives today. Aldridge says that Carter's ex was recently moved to another room and she did not find him today. She's currently being held at the Rockwall County Jail.